Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I just left work. I'm running a little behind, but I'm actually pretty close to the time I would normally leave. It's just super dark today because it is rainy. We've had, we had like a foot of snow this weekend and then Indiana weather. Now it's raining and it's melting all the snow and um, it's gloomy. So, and it's not even rain, like full rain. It's this weird mist that's kind of chilly but um so that's interesting indiana weather changes just crazy you never know how to dress or, or prepare for it um today was kind of interesting i got a lot done i'm really happy one of my um worst accounts i was able to get um about 50 or 60 things disputed so we should be getting payments for those, I would think. I hope. Anyway, um, I still haven't done any of the training that I was hoping to start so that I could um, set a bunch of things up for macros. Macros are like, for macros for the purpose of doing mail merges so that I don't have to manually follow up. It basically, what it does is it, in case you're not savvy on that stuff, it will take my report that I run that tells me what needs to be done and uh, the contact info and then basically you set up an email template and then it mails all the emails all your people for you so it follows up on your behalf and it the computer can do it in a matter of an hour but if I had to manually write every email out it would take me more than the month and yeah, so things would just get further and further behind. Anyway, that's enough about boring old work. I managed to get up and get going today, but I could not, in good conscience, put my contact in. For whatever reason, my eye was like red and a little irritated. I, t I took them out yesterday and put them in the solution. It's, you know, I slept all night and thought, you know, give my eyes that's usually enough of a break, just take them out before bed and I'm usually fine, but maybe maybe I need to throw those contacts out. Maybe I need to switch to, to uh, a new pair. But I get to wear my glasses today. I like these, they're kind of cute. They're a little bit, you know, eh. I'm super blind though, without them. So I have to wear, I have to either wear my contacts or my glasses or I'm not allowed to drive, so. That's great fun. Um, I'd love to see about LASIK, but I don't think I could actually go through with it because you have to be awake when they remove the surface of your eye. Ugh. Does that not creep you out? Like you're awake and you're looking straight forward and they hack off a piece of your eyeball. I mean, ugh. And the fact that anybody has the balls to do that, like kudos to you because I would need you can't be sedated because when you're sedated, your eyes roll back and you have to be awake and alert and looking straight forward. So, or maybe you could be like, you can't be knocked out. You could maybe be sedated, a little loopy. I would definitely need to be a lot loopy. Like I would need to be the kind of loopy where I'm giggly, which probably wouldn't be safe for the, the procedure because you can't be giggling and wiggling around when they're chopping off the surface of your eye. So see, probably not the procedure for me. Although I've heard people say that now it's like almost automated, right? Like they numb your eye and then there's a sheet that does it and it's like a pretty stinking quick procedure and they numb you and so literally it's like nothing is happening from what I hear, but it's just the fact that I know what is happening. I don't know. I, ugh. I'm too chicken to do stuff like filler even. I mean, I'm shocked that I actually got my eyebrows done. I don't have any tattoos. I don't have any cool piercings. I did get my belly button pierced when I was a teenager because I used to be, you know, a skinny mini and yeah. But I seriously wore it for like six months or so and then I took it out. Yeah, because I don't know. It's I never wore belly shirts or anything. The only time you could ever see it is if I was in a bikini. And since I live in Indiana, I'm in a bikini on vacation and that is it. So, and I didn't want to wear it in like regular clothes because like, 
your you could catch on your jeans it could catch on like a coat or like a sh like in your shirt it was such a pain in the tuchus uh, anyway so this weekend I'm supposed to be going to uh, dinner with my friends and then next weekend a bunch of people are going we have like ski slopes here tubing and skiing um, but it's obviously not cold enough all year round for there to be legitimate tubing and skiing so there's actual like snow machines and you can go most of the year around here um, at this one place but my friends are all going and I got the invite and I kind of I I don't know why but leading up to a social activity well see my friend invited me but she invited some of her other friends that I don't know so, in that situation, I don't know why I get, like, so, like, anxious and, like, way beforehand that I, like, took myself out of going, which is stupid because then I'm, like, missing out on things, but I don't know why I get, I don't know, I should just go, which is, see, that fear, operating out of fear is exactly why I called to make an appointment with the, with a therapist because when you like live your life and everything you think and everything you plan and everything you want it's it, you, your own brain will like undermine all of those things it's like hey you know what I'd love to do I'd love to start a business and your brain constantly it, and it's there to protect you. The habit center of your brain and like those fear responses, they're there to protect you. Um, but I, when, when you have a brain that's working in overdrive, it can also hinder you from doing the things that you need to do. Like you need social interaction, you need connection, and you need friends. But like when your brain's working overtime, it's hindering you, like in my case, it's hindering me from going and making those memories with my friends because my, like, because I'm operating from fear, so I'm already, like, like, I feel the social anxiety of an upcoming event as soon as I'm invited, which is insane. Some people are, like, fine until the day of, and then they're, like, only have issue if they can't find something to wear, or, it, or maybe if uh, the day approaches and they're, you know, bank, bank accounts on E or something, you know, but, like, me, as soon as I get an invite, there's like this stress. And I, can, I can't be normal. And these are my friends. I know that they love me. I know that they accept me. Sorry. I'm like getting choked up because because of how uh, because of how much I know that they love me. Anyway, it just, because it makes me sad that logically I know how lucky I am, I know how amazing they are, I know how stoked I should be, but my logic doesn't always win out. It's like something in my, like, subconscious brain, like, overrides all that conscious logic, and it just like fearful. It's kind of a bummer. Sorry to share all that. That's really a downer. Anyway, <laughs> I should talk about things I'm excited about. I figured it out and the amount of money that I needed to have saved for my braces will officially be there at the end of February. So my plan is to schedule my braces for like March or like the first weekend of week of March, so I have to call and do that. Yeah. That'd be good. And then I gotta... I'm just nervous. I'm gonna have that tooth pulled and my smile's gonna look crazy for a minute, but it'll only be for a second, and I'll be grateful to have it done. Right. Anyway. I, I don't understand. I'm getting past a lot today. I'm going... 75, well, I was going 75, I slowed down to 74, but I'm getting past, like, these cars in Indiana go, like, 90, and, which I 
can be speedy, but usually I only speed on sunny days. I don't speed on rainy or or um, snowy or icy days. Because around here, Indiana, we do have a lot of, especially even like rain, we have a lot of flash flooding. Just, it, it will have been sunny a half hour ago, and then out of nowhere there will be a monsoon, and then all these like roads around here, because we're the crossroads of America. We have more roads than any place else. So, because every major highway cuts through Indiana. So we have so many roads to maintain, a lot of tax dollars. So yeah, some roads get neglected. And, and even like some places on the highway will have like standing water. Obviously those will be taken care of a lot quicker than the side roads because of the speeds and stuff, but it still can happen. There's still roads that are poorly maintained and there'll be standing water like right on the highway or even on the exit. One time I was heading to work and I was getting off the exit and you're exiting, you know, coming from 70 miles an hour and you've got to slow down going up the ramp until you come to a stop. But I'm exiting, barely exited. And there was a river and I like hydroplaned about 10, 15 feet until I was further up the ramp and then, you know, got on pavement again. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> and, you know, around here, I don't know how quickly uh, all those, like, apps and things get updated, like Waze or, you know, they tell you road conditions. I don't know because it's so rural that they get updated as well as, say, crashes and things would in, in the city. So around here we post on social media and, and make sure our friends all share. Don't go this way. Things are bad. <laughs> So that usually works pretty well. But yeah I, yeah, I posted that that morning, don't go this way. And there was like a, another girl at my office who had had the same situation. And she said it had almost cost her to run off the road as well. So, and anyway, uh, tonight I need to uh, go home and put a, I'm gonna try and make a pork tender loin. No, a, yes, a pork loin, a pork loin in the crock pot. I don't know, I should put like veggies and stuff in there and season it. And I'll have to see what I've got when I get home. And then it can just be the whole meal and all I have to do is stick them in my little prep bowls. And, and then I'm sure that would last me the rest of the week. Then I'll only have to, and probably most of the weekend, uh, I'll just have to pop them out and pop them in the, the microwave. Although I'm not sure how to make, um, like a lot of times when I make stuff in the crock pot, it gets like dried out. So I'm not sure how to do the, I'm not great at doing the right amount of time. The thing that sucks when you do a lot of stuff in the crock pot is like a lot of the things will say six hours. Well, I, if I put it in there before I leave for work and I don't get it until I get back home, that's, that's in there 10 hours, 10, 12 hours. So. Yeah, I, don't, I guess the six hour, six and seven hour things will work fine for people who are coming home on their lunch break, but I don't have that luxury. Like, I could take my crock pot into work, stick it in my cubicle. <laughs> we do have a fridge, so then I could divvy it up. That'd be hilarious. My, uh, my work would probably be like, what are you doing? But anyway, I am almost home. I thought... There was another cop. They, around here, there's a lot of cops in, like, this Ford. I don't know what the SUVs are. Ford, um... I don't know. They're just SUVs, and I got passed by one of those, and I was like, seriously? Oh, well. What are you gonna do? Oh, I did try to call my insurance today. I was trying to, uh, apparently my homeowner's insurance just ran my, went ahead and ran my car information because when I bought the home, I was going to bundle my home and car, I thought, but they couldn't do a better deal on my car, but now they can, like he, he decided to run it again this year. It, um, my car insurance will go down like $50. Like, that's a pretty big deal. Anyway, 
so I'm gonna call him back and, and tell him I want to do it. But I tried to call him today, and apparently they're out on Wednesday half day. So I tried to call him at lunch, and they're out by noon on Wednesdays, which I didn't realize. But I do like my homeowner's insurance guy. He's a super good guy. He he does um, being a small town like he does his due diligence and he follows up and. Yeah, I, I appreciate that because, you know, I get used to just the, the money coming out of my bank account and I should check it more often, but I don't. These are things that you should do every uh, few months or every year and see if rates have changed or if you're eligible for, you know, discounts and things. And um, that's the nice thing about having an insurance agent, you know, rather than like getting your insurance online and stuff. They'll take care of that stuff for you they're really thoughtful in that way and yeah and yeah and I, that's why I like that I'm with a small town agent because he appreciates my business and he like makes the, the extra effort <sighs> but yeah so I gotta call him back anyway I am almost home I am stuck at the light that's one light away from my house Oh my gosh, my... Ugh. Ugh. I'm sleepy. On rainy days like this, like, this is a perfect kind of weather to just be, like, in your snuggy and rolled up into a ball on your sofa. I was gonna get coffee this afternoon, but... I the time got away from me and then when I realized what time it was I had like six minutes until I was allowed to clock out so I was not about to get coffee for the six minutes that were left I was like I'm just gonna go home and besides I don't want to drink coffee this late because I might get an upset stomach I don't know I doubt it but because I it could go either way some days I can drink coffee till from morning till evening and be fine but other days literally have half a sip of coffee and have an upset stomach so I don't quite understand how that happens but Ooh. this weather is making because it's like cool and dark and it's not like rain it's more like mist the grass doesn't even look like grass right now. It kind of looks like moss. I feel like I'm in... I don't know, like... Ireland or Scotland or something. Alright. Well, I'm going to let you go. As per usual, I hope that you know that you're loved and that you're um, needed in this life. You have a purpose. And that um, you do matter and I hope that whatever battles that you're fighting, you don't give up. Um, yeah, I hope to see you again later this week.